Obviously, TV's down. Mobile and mobile video is huge. And on that subject, I'm going to talk about mobile apps just for a little bit. Predictive selling is one of the next things that's huge. Amazon is probably the leader in this right now. Um, you buy something, they're going to tell you this is what you should also buy. They're actually starting a, a program where based on what you bought, they're testing this already, they're going to just start shipping boxes of stuff to your house and they're going to say, hey, look, try this. It, you know, it's free. It's no, no charge. Anything you don't want, just put back in the box, send it to us, no charge. And if you want to keep something that we just sent you, we'll, we'll just charge your card in a week or so. And so they're having a, you know, some pretty good success with this predictive selling kind of thing. So, um, and, 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 and that's you know, one of the major um, cool things that some of the really smart marketers doing. The other thing is heat mapping of websites. Um, finding out where all your traffic is, and and again, some of this stuff gets a little technical. I don't want to I don't want to bore you with too much detail, but um, you know you can not only heat map a website to see where is the traffic. If they're not going to one part of your website at all, maybe you got a problem with your website. But also, you know, in the stores, you can heat map the store itself, and and a lot of the retailers that are having issues with traffic you know, are finding out that hey, they got parts of the store that nobody's going to. They're, they're overbuilt, way too much space. So now there's a trend towards smaller types of, of space. So, so this is, you know, this is a couple of the trends. And then one more little trend. How many have, oh, uh, this is called geofencing. We went to the Miami Boat Show recently, just r real close to here. And we geofenced the entire trade show. And then we were able to do push notifications into all the mobile phones inside that show. And we had two clients that we represented that we've crushed sending people to their booth. So um, this is something very, very uh, powerful and successful being used by smart marketers now and some of the techniques that, that we're taking a look at also. Um, one last part of this section. How many have heard of the Internet of Things? Few of you, yeah. Okay. There, there's everything in the world is starting to get kind of internet connected. So um, next thermostat, it's an internet connected thermostat that monitors your living habits, where you go, what you do, what time you wake up, what time you leave the house, and it, and it adjusts the temperature of the heat and the air conditioning based on it learning your living habits. And so, um, you know, from plugs to feeders to light bulbs, everything across the board uh, is turning into internet. In fact, if you want to see some crazy ones, um, how about a, a, a toothbrush for moms to know when the kids are lying about how long they're brushing their teeth, okay? <laughs> how about that one, right? Or a belt that loosens when you've eaten too much. So there's, there are right now in the average home today about eight internet-connected devices. When you think about it, your, your phone, your computer, your iPad, whatever. And by the year 2020, it's going to be 50 internet-connected devices in your home. So there's a huge opportunity. Me as a marketer, what do I say? This is why I go to the Consumer Electronics Show. Just came back in January. It was amazing to see all of the buzz about internet-connected devices. And, and I'm now, I have a whole focus in this arena. So, um, you know, I think basically this kind of takes me to my last subject. And we're going to wrap up here in just a couple of minutes. Because what I say is, in, in the world of digital, there's kind of, five things that I look at, and again, I'm going to just kind of hit these kind of quick because it's there, we look for micro moments in the marketing world. And the reason being is that the average person checks their phone 150 times a day. They're on it 177 minutes a day, and they consult their phone 82% of the time when they're shopping. So how do you reach these people at these micro moments? Um, um, I just went to a property and casualty in insurance uh, group, and I said, you know, you have to reach people right when they've had the problem, because they're going on the internet, on their mobile phone, right? So th th this is the important thing, is knowing how and when to reach them, and that's what digital is all about. 